I'm standing here right at Dock Street where it was literally underwater the other day. Now emergency crews say they've been out since five this morning cleaning up and those who work on the island say they're just ready to get back to business. When Tom Liebert came to work, he was greeted with a ton of seagrass on his deck. Came back with a uh, hay fork, a pitchfork, uh, and started uh, cleaning up the deck, sweeping, washing. Yesterday, the coast was slammed by Tropical Storm Colin, and many of the streets in Cedar Key were closed by flooding. This may be the uh, most water I've seen in the 21 years I've lived in the community. But today paints a very different picture. All the streets are reopened as well as the businesses. I didn't expect to rent anything today. I was just trying to get back together again. But we've had two people come and rent kayaks today. And he says if it wasn't for help from city workers in Cedar Key, his business wouldn't be here standing. They deserve kudos for all that they have done. This deck that we are standing on would not be here today if it hadn't been for them rescrewing it down uh, to the frame yesterday afternoon just before the high water came in. Chief Virgil Sandlin works closely with the cleanup crews and he says there's still a lot of work to do. Our, our biggest issue with our tropical systems is uh, debris from the island but debris from off the island also. I mean it washes and so it, it takes us a while to get it cleaned up. And as I said before there are emergency crews out right now mainly cleaning up debris that's been scattered throughout the city. Reporting in Cedar Key, Alicia Tarancon, CBS4 News.